Welcome back to Cody's Movie Cave. Today, we're going to discuss, we're going to reach way back, way back there, to a movie that is a classic. Um, Superman, directed by the late, great Richard Donner, and also starred the late, great Christopher Reeve. This man was... He was a good one. He was a real good one. Um, so yeah, this is the first time we get to see Superman on the screen, on the big screen. First time ever. First time movie. Um, it's done really well. It's got, like I said, Christopher Reeve. It's got uh, Marlon Brando, who plays jor Superman's Kryptonian dad. It's got, uh, I think it's Glenn Ford. I think it is, that plays uh, Jonathan Kent. Um, Lex Luthor is played by, to my to my opinion, the best one of the best Lex Luthers. Gene Hackman <clears throat> plays Lex, and so it's got a really good cast. It's just you know it's a pure delight. It's great entertainment. It's it's light hearted. It's um, cheesy on the cheesy side. The effects. Let's face it. This movie was made back in the seventies. Does it hold up? Effects-wise, no, it does not. Story-wise, performances, nostalgia, yes, it holds up. I, I will watch this, you know, anytime I can see it on TV or, or feel like watching it, it's a good one. Um, it spawned several sequels. It had Superman 2, which held up really well and was a good sequel. Brought in General Zod for that one, so really good villain there played by Terrence Stamp, but then after that, the third, the fourth, Quest for Peace, um, all those, not so great. So Christopher Reeves, really the two best ones he had was one and two. Superman the movie, you know, you got the original version, or if you can find it, the Richard Donner cut, both good, both good, you know, good movies, good versions of the movie. Um, it's recently been put out on 4K. Went out and got me one. Uh, it's the 80th, 80 years of Superman. So, yeah, pretty big deal, pretty cool. Yeah, it's recently been put out on 4K Blu-ray. Um, 143 minutes. It's a little long, but it's, it's good. Now, if you go into it expecting Man of Steel, Henry Cavill type stuff, You'll be sadly disappointed. This movie is, like I said, 70s era. So you can expect that style, that level of uh, cheesiness, corniness, if you will. But like I said, it's a fun watch. This movie tells us Superman's origin story. You know, all the way back to Smallville. Crash lands in the crops, in the cornfield. Pa and Ma Kent finds him. It even goes back as far as, like I said, the scenes with Krypton, with Jor-El, Marlon Brando, doing Marlon Brando, you know, he pretty much just showed up with a white wig and read the lines as Marlon Brando. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, it's a good movie. Um, tells his origin story, how he became Superman, him being Superman. Uh, he gets, you know, gets in some trouble with some, you know, with Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor's after him. So, yeah, it's, it's a fun movie. Um, the kiddos might not like it because, like I said, it the effects don't hold up compared to modern-day movies. But if you're like me and you like old movies and you, and you are nostalgia, I grew up watching this on TV, you know. This was my first, um, my first experience with Superman. So, yeah, I, I like it, you know. I grew up with it, so... I have to watch it from time to time, and uh, the kids will be like, that's not Superman, you know? Where's Superman? And they're referring to Henry Cavill, which is great. It's a good movie in its own right. You just can't compare the two. You know, Superman the movie, Christopher Reeves, is its own type of movie over here. Man of Steel, Henry Cavill, action movie, is 
kind of over here in its own right as well. You just can't compare the two. Um, but yeah, Christopher Reeve does a great job. He pulls off the Clark Kent really well. Um, the, you know, glasses, the nerd look, he pulls that off superb. He does a great Superman. This dude was committed. He hit the gym all the time up until filming of this movie. He gained, I think I read like 40 pounds of nothing but pure muscle. So that's him, you know. This is just a, back then it was just a suit. You couldn't pad it, you couldn't CGI it. Christopher Reeves was a towering big dude that had muscle upon muscle. So really, he looked the part. He was Superman. You know, he was a big guy, as you can see. So yeah. Superman is a good movie. Check it out. Probably most of you have done seen it. Um, if the younger viewers try it, I have a feeling that they may not really like it. But, you know, it is what it is. It's more for us, for us adults that are nostalgic. Um, yeah, it's, it, it was a big movie for its time, you know. And it was huge when it came out back then. Did great at the box office. Critics loved it. And so... It, like I said, it spawned sequels, so, and it's got heart, you know, I mean, you can just, from Christopher Reeve's performance, he was just a good dude, you know, in real life, he was a great dude, and so, he brings that level of performance to Clark Kent, Superman, and so, he, he, his performance and the whole story, it, it's just got heart, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, you want to go out and get you your new copy like I did, the 4K, um, find you the uh, Richard Donner director's cut. That's a cool watch. Or if you just want to catch it on like uh, HBO Max, I do believe is streaming most of the DC content, which falls under even the old stuff like Superman. And uh, so it's streaming there for free. If you want to check it out on the big platforms and buy your own digital copy, Amazon, Vudu, Apple. You know the usual big ones that are it's on there so um but yeah it's a good little watch clean good for the you know it's a good i think you can watch with the family um, so yeah you know reintroduce the kiddos to the original og christopher reeve superman check it out it's kind of like i said we just kind of headed back in the day back there with that so um again this is my opinion Superman, Christopher Reeves, my opinion, it's like butts, everybody's got one, and some of them stink.